Hello friends, once again I welcome you to my channel and today in my video we will be discussing some numericals on addressing mode. So the numericals are, the first one is very simple one, a two word instruction is stored in a location A, right? It is given. The operand part of the instruction holds B. If the addressing mode is relative, then the operand is available in which location? So here we need to know the meaning of relative addressing mode. What is relative addressing mode? So see, whatever is given, that is see, I have written here that at memory location A and A plus 1, your total instruction will be there because it is given as a two word instruction is there, right? So first part will be holding your opcode and second part is holding your address part value as B. It is given in the question. And the address of the next instruction will be A plus 2. So the point is why I am talking about this A plus 2. See, in case of relative addressing mode, the effective address is nothing but updated value of PC. So whenever we are executing this instruction, it sorry, this two word instruction that A and A plus together, whatever instruction is there, during that time PC will be pointing to what? A plus 2. So updated value of PC will be A plus 2. With that, we need to add the offset or your displacement. And that what is the value of displacement or the offset that is there in the address field of the instruction. That is there in the address field of the instruction. So what I said, what is the effective address? Updated value of PC. What is that? A plus 2. What is offset? Address field value. That is B. So see here, in case of relative mode, the effective address is updated value of PC plus offset. That means it is A plus 2 plus B. So this is our answer. This is also one gate question actually. Another one. So and I have written the theory behind. Updated value of PC means what? Address of the next instruction. That is the instruction. Address of the instruction following the branch instruction. Relative mode is basically used for uh, branching. Right? Next same type of question is there. Another one. A relative mode. Uh, branch type instruction is uh, stored in memory at address 750. The branch is made to an address 500. This is my target, right? That's it. This is my effective address, right? This is my target. And instruction is at 750, right? So see, in one word, the whole instruction cannot be accommodated because first part will be opcode, second part will be the address field, that is offset, right? So, because of that, since in 750, you will get opcode and in 751, our address field will be there holding the value of offset or displacement. Right now, we do not know the value. We need to find out. And the address of the next instruction is what? 752. And what is my effective address? That is the target of my branch. That is nothing but 500. I need to jump to 500, right? This is my target instructions address. So relative mode effective address is what? Just now we have seen updated value of PC plus offset. Updated value of PC means address of the next instruction. That is 752. And what is your effective address? 500. What we need to find out? Offset. So the value will be what? The value will be 500 minus 752. That will be minus 252. So address fill value is nothing but minus 252. So both the numericals are of same type. Basically what we need to know, relative addressing mode and uh, what is the meaning of updated value of PC and what is stored in the address field of the instruction. Address field of the instruction holds your offset or displacement. What does it mean? It means how far your target is located from the updated value of PC. So this is done. Then the next one, next numerical we'll see. Now we'll be starting with uh, numericals on addressing mode. Very simple numerical. See, a instruction is stored at address 200 with address field value 10. So at location 201, the value 10 is stored. A processor register R10 contains the value 210. Some value is there 210, which is also used as your index register also. So R10 is acting as a general purpose register 
and that is also used as your index register also it is given in the question what we are supposed to do we need to find the effective address what do you mean by effective address address of the operand right that is effective address of the operand if the addressing mode of the instruction is direct register and so on we'll see one by one so see whatever is given in the question that data we have drawn diagrammatically at address 200 of code is there at 201 our offset 10 is there and register r10 or index register same is acting as an index register which is holding value 210 right now see we need to use direct addressing mode so before starting with this numerical i would like to mention one point whatever is the value that is stored as the address field in an instruction it represents effective address or your address of the operand in case of direct mode the same value represents if the instruction is using immediate mode this represents the immediate operand second point third one third point in case of index mode it is representing the offset right in case of relative mode address field value represents the offset third uh, fifth point in case of a uh, memory indirect mode this represents address of the ea address of the address of the operand because address of the operand is called as what effective address so whatever is stored in the instructions address field that represents address of the effective address so if i put square bracket 10 then it will give me some number that number will be nothing but effective address of your operand this part we need to remember then our life will be easier the numerical is very easy actually but only we need to know this concept so first one is direct mode what is direct mode address is part of the instruction so where is the address in the address field what is the value 10 so this 10 is representing what address of the operand so it is nothing but your effective address see in case of direct addressing mode effective address is value of the address field and that is given here as 10 so very simple we have done it next is register direct register direct is nothing but register mode so in case of register mode where is your opening in your register and uh, so it data is that operand is in the register so what is the address of the operand the name of the register right so what register we are using here r10 so effective address will be name of a register so that is here r10 right next one is registered indirect what is registered indirect mode so we need to understand it quickly in case of registered indirect mode data is in memory and address is in the register address is in a register so the register's content is now not a data it is your address of the operand so that is 210 right so register indirect mode the the content of the register represents the address so content of the register r10 is nothing but 210 we got it the next one is index addressing mode in case of your index addressing mode index addressing mode right index register content that is nothing but r10 only value is 210 plus offset what is offset the content of the address field that is 10 so 210 plus 10 is your 220 right so it was actually a very easy numerical only we need to know what are my addressing modes simply go and applying the values you will get the answer so hope this one is clear now we'll do one more numerical quickly right so see the same numerical is there this time but only instead of that 200 201 or 10 we have used some symbolic names see what it is a two word instruction is stored in memory at an address designated by the symbol p this is p right so address field value is what p address field of the instruction sorry uh, sorry the address of the instruction is p and at p plus 1 this is these are addresses at p plus 1 the value q is stored that is representing the value of the address field 
right? So P, P plus 1 comprises my instruction. Where is my next instruction? At P plus 2. The operand used during the execution of the instruction is stored at an address symbolized by EA. That is the address of the operand. Simple. Index, there is one index register that contains the value X. That's all. These are the data given to us. So see, I have written it here symbolically. So P, P plus 1 is the address, together comprises my instruction. P plus 2 is the address of the next instruction. And address field value contains Q and your index register is holding X. So this much is clear. Now simply apply to get the EA. EA means effective address. So in case of direct mode, just now we did it, na? In case of direct mode, where is your effective address? Value of the address field. So it is Q. Very good. Next is indirect mode. Indirect mode? Indirect mode? Indirect mode means uh, whatever is at address Q, right? So somewhere it is Q. Here some value is there. That value is my effective address. I need not have to tell you the value. I will simply write square bracket Q. That means it represents content of memory location Q. That is nothing but address of my operand, right? Here some uh, R is there. At address R, your operand is there. That is a concept of memory in direct mode. As part of instruction, one address is there. At that address, another address is there. At that address, your operand will be there. So that is that only, whatever I said, right? So value of the address field. So simply you write the square bracket Q. Because we do not know what is there at memory location Q. So simply write square bracket Q. That is also your answer. Next is relative mode. So tell me quickly, relative mode. We have done just now. Relative mode means updated value of PC plus offset. What is offset? Value of the address field. So updated value of PC means address of the next instruction. What is that? P plus 2, right? Address of the next instruction. That is P plus 2 plus offset. That is Q, right? Next is index. In case of index, the index register will be used. So content of index register plus offset. Where I'll get offset? Value of the address field. So it is simply X plus Q. So hope up to here the numericals are clear. This, this was in fact a very easy numerical kind of repetition to my previous numerical. Because see sometimes when we look at symbols, na, we get numbers, right? But basically they are easier, right? So simply write P, Q, R, whatever is there that you need to just need to process based on whatever address the mode is asked, right? So up to here in this much, in this video, in my next video, again, I'll come with some more numericals. Till then, thank you. And if you are getting from my video, then please subscribe to my channel and like my videos. Thank you.